Good morning, Ultimate TMNT Collectors. And today, we are going to be doing an unboxing and review of none other than Michelangelo from the Super 7 Ultimates TMT line. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get this amazing looking figure out of his packaging and take a closer look at him and his accessories. We've got Michelangelo out of his packaging. Michelangelo is cool because he comes with some of the accessories that are different from Leonardo. And you're probably looking going, ah, oh, what's different about this one? Well, we're going to start off with this one. My, uh, Leonardo has a slice of pizza. Michelangelo has the pizza box. The writing on it, side, side, and top. And inside, again, look at that slice of pizza. Like, the, that looks like it's real. Like, it's making me hungry. Um, cheese splattered up on the top. The only thing that I would have loved to see with this is if the lid closed on it. That would have made this even that much better. But this is a really cool accessory to be coming with him. Let's look at his weapons. He's got the Playmate version. And then he's got the Art Deco Super 7. Michelangelo uses nunchucks. So he does come with two nunchucks that are have a rubber. And it's you can bend them. The chain, the nice silver Art Deco, the gold on them, the leather wrapping. These are really cool. But what else is really cool is he comes with another set. That actually have a real chain on it. So uh, he also comes with his iconic turtle grappling hook. And the detail on this, how there's the cuts that actually make it look like a shell, the silver on the grappling parts that would pop out from the side, and it's on both sides. The only thing that I would have liked to see a little bit different is. If they used a different type of of uh, string on it, maybe um, like a uh, hemp line type material and a little bit longer because, you know, these are turtles we're talking about. This this piece here that's maybe about six, five, six inches. You know, if you want to do something, if you guys have one of these, I would recommend swapping that out or if you want to keep it. But this is really cool. He comes with... Two ninja stars like this that are painted silver. He also does come with three additional sets of hands. Punching, another set of holding hands, and a set of grabbing hands. He does come with three other accessories that are identical to Leonardo. But these are painted a little bit different. In like this one, for instance. The edges have the gold deco. Still have the brown for the leather and silver for the blade. This one is painted the same as Leonardo's. And again, collectors, if you know what these three weapons are called, please drop a comment. I would love to know, or I'll eventually look it up. Um, and this one, they did the gold down here on it. These, I love them. They're really cool. And he does come with one additional head. This is like his playful laughing head. The mouth is open and look at the teeth. Like the, the teeth are sculpted in there. And again, like the face has detail, wrinkles in it. You know, he's the bandana. It's not just like flush on there. There is molded into it like ripples to give it the effect of it's being pulled back and bunched up and tied off. And this I like. I did not mention it, Leonardo. Um, this is really cool because this is a soft rubber that's added on. But the face, like, I love this. This is an iconic Michelangelo-looking face, and this is amazing. Um, and I did notice that Michelangelo is a little bit different color than Leonardo. So that's really cool. Now, they did not paint his toenails or his fingernails like Leonardo. So they're giving the turtles a little bit 
of different kind of definition. As you can see, Michelangelo is a darker shade of green. The elbow pads and knee pads, they have texture. There's muscles carved in or sculpted in, I should say. Again, they went with the black for the belt. And I like it. It's kind of cool. It's different. Um, this head, his grimace, his, you know, I'm ready to get down to business. And the eyes, how the eyes are squinted there. Um, and the texture on the headband is cool. It's a nice effect. But when we look at his belly shell, from him and Leonardo, they did do a slight coloration. Like there's the yellow, but then there's a shade of like brown. And there's battle damage in his shell, which is simply amazing. And I love, I didn't point it out on Leonardo, but they did put the letters on the belt. And we turn him around to the back. And his back shell is the same color as Leonardo's. And as you can see, there's a holder for each of the nunchuck handles. So he can carry the two nunchucks on him. 360 look of Michelangelo. The nunchucks do fit in very snug. You just have to work them in a little bit and they'll go in no problem. I would have liked to see the chain on the nunchucks a little bit longer so you could kind of do some different poses. This figure is, it looks badass. If you guys don't have this one in your collection, I highly recommend picking one up because if you have one turtle, you've got to have all four. If you guys are enjoying the figure reviews that I am bringing to you, please remember, click that like, share, and subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're reminded when a new figure review is going to be coming out. And until the next video, stay safe, be kind, and keep on collecting.